everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome to today's interactive Halloween-themed read-aloud. Today, we're reading a Halloween story featuring one of my favorite characters, Froggy. My friends, show me a thumbs up if you have ever read a book about Froggy before. There's lots of books about Froggy, right? And he is such a funny character. He does silly things. He says funny things. He's a lot of fun to read about. Well, in today's reading adventure, we're going to be reading about Froggy's Halloween adventures, how he finds his costume, what it's like going trick-or-treating, what he really enjoys about Halloween, what Halloween means to him. So I know my friends that Halloween's going to look a little bit different this year with coronavirus going on. I know some of your traditions that you usually do, you might not get to do this year, but I'm hoping that you will still have some fun Halloween festivities to do. My friends, go ahead and cheer with me. Do you know what you're doing for Halloween this year? What kind of fun Halloween things are you going to do? Those sound like excellent ideas. And do you have a costume yet? What is your costume? Yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about costumes as we read this story because Froggy's going to be figuring out what he wants to be for Halloween too. So if you don't know yet what your costume is, no worries. You still have some time to figure it out. Okay, well, as always, there's a craft at the end of this read aloud, so stay tuned after this story to see how you can bring this story to life with some art. So my friends, I think we're ready to get started though, so give me a ribbit if you're ready to begin. Oh, nice, just like Froggy the Frog. Okay, let's get started. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is Froggy's Halloween, written by Jonathan London and illustrated by Frank Rempewicz. So that means that Jonathan London wrote all of the words and Frank from Kewix drew all of the pictures. Author and illustrator worked together to make this story for us. So Froggy's Halloween, my friends, and what do you notice on this cover? Go ahead and tell me what do you see going on? All right, I see Froggy and what does it look like he's dressed up as? I see a crown, which makes me think something about royalty, like a king or a prince, right? He has a wooden sword. And I see he's with some of his friends, and what are they dressed up as? Right, there's a ballerina. This one looks like, oh, the pig looks like he's a devil. Ooh, spooky. And my friends, where do you think they're going? What are they doing right now? Looks like they're about to go trick-or-treating, right? I see their bags. Oh, it's a full moon. Ooh, extra spooky, all right? So Froggy's Halloween. He looks really excited here. My friends, how do you feel about Halloween coming soon? Yeah, okay. Well, let's find out what Froggy's Halloween is all about. So here's our title page. Remember, has the title of our book, Froggy's Halloween, our author and illustrator, and then who published the book, who helped make this book, put all the pages together, printed it, then sold it, made it into a book for us to read. That's Puffin Books. And here on the title page, I see another picture. What's going on? What is Froggy doing? They're putting a light in their jack-o'-lantern, right? Jack-o'-lantern is what you call a pumpkin that is carved. My friends, have you carved a pumpkin this year? What carving did you put on your pumpkin? I always carve pumpkins too. I like to carve flowers or cats on mine and then I like to scoop up the seeds and roast them and eat them. Do you do that? If you haven't, you should try it. It's delicious. For Froggy, Halloween meant candy. Ooh, what does Halloween mean to you, my friends? When you think of Halloween, what's the first thing you think about? Trick or treating and candy. Mmm, I think of candy when I think of Halloween and ghosts and spooky things. But it also meant dressing up. And he wondered, what should I be for Halloween? Huh. So he's not sure what he should be yet. And my friends, I know we already talked about it at the beginning, but just in case you missed that part, do you know what you are going to be for Halloween? If you already know, go ahead and share. What's your costume going to be? Ooh, yes. If you don't know yet, don't worry. Froggy doesn't know yet either. Oh, and I notice he has little Halloween sheets on his bed. Super cute. What costume does Froggy have here? A superhero costume. My friends, have you ever been a superhero for Halloween? Would you ever want to be a superhero for Halloween? 
If you could be a superhero for Halloween, which superhero would you be? Wow. I know, cried Froggy. Super Frog! Zoom! Flying high over the city faster than a dragonfly and stronger than a bullfrog. Ooh, that sounds like a great superhero. Super fast and super strong. Do you think he'll be a superhero? It looks like a cool costume, but I noticed on the cover he was something different. So I'm thinking maybe not. Oh, no, looks like he's going to try something else. What new costume is he going to try? Looks like a ghost, right? How is he making his ghost costume? Right, it looks like he's using a white sheet and he's cutting out eye holes. My friends, have you ever been a ghost for Halloween? How did you make your costume? If you haven't been a ghost, that could be a good idea. No, decided Froggy, something spooky. I know, cried Froggy. Ghost Frog! He poked two holes in his mother's best white sheet and draped it over his head. He put it over his head. And oh, here I see the ghost sound. My friends, can you make the ghost sound with me? What sounds do ghosts make? Like that. Let's say it together in three, two, one. Ooh, that was spooky. So he used his mother's best sheet to make this ghost costume. How do you think mom might feel about that? Not too happy. Oh, but looks like he's changing costumes again. What do you think he's going to be on this page, my friends? What costume is he trying? Hmm. No, thought Froggy. Something scarier. Oh, scarier than a ghost? I know, cried Froggy. Vampire Frog. Ooh. He put on his black cape. Zoosh. Pulled on his mom's black tights. Zoop. My friends, can you make that sound? Pretend you're pulling on tights. Zoop. Put on his slick black wig, zap, ooh. And said, in his best Dracula voice, Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Ooh. Do you know this rhyme, my friend? See if you can say it with me. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. <laughs> Did you use your best Dracula voice? Okay. Uh-oh, there's Mama. Oh, here she is calling his name. Froggy! Called his mother. What? Cried Froggy back. Halloween's not till next week. You're supposed to be doing your homework, my dear. Oh. I'm Kent Von Frogula, said Froggy. Vampire frogs don't do homework. Oh, Froggy's mother laughed. Vampires have fangs, she said. You're a toothless wonder. Oops, guess Froggy forgot that part of his costume. Oops, cried Froggy, covering his mouth. And how does he feel? He's a little embarrassed he forgot his fangs, right? So Mom's like, well, Froggy, you should be focusing on your homework because Halloween's not till a week away. Seems like Frog is pretty distracted by Halloween, huh? And if I look over here, what has Mom got over here? What is she making? It looks like a bowl of food. What is the food? Can you see? It's like a box of flies, right? Ugh, flies. Why would she have flies? Oh, that's right, because frogs eat flies, right? Oh. So all week at school, Froggy wondered, what should I be for Halloween? A football player? A cowboy? A zombie? My friends, which of these costumes do you like best? Which one do you think Froggy should be? Well, I wonder if he'll be any of those, right? I don't know. But I'm noticing that he's in school, and does it look like he's doing his schoolwork and paying attention in class? Looks like he's distracted, right? And, uh oh Froggy! cried his teacher, Miss Witherspoon. What? said Froggy. Kindly keep your mind on your work, dear. So the teacher's like, please concentrate, but what is Froggy thinking about instead? Halloween costumes. My friend says that ever happened to you when you're in class, but your brain is just thinking about something else and you can't pay attention. That happens sometimes. But usually in school we try to just think about school things, right? So we can learn. But his mind was on Halloween. Every day after school, he got ready for Halloween. My friends, how do you get ready for Halloween?
What are some activities that you do? Right, you get your costume ready, maybe you decorate your house, maybe you'll carve pumpkins. Let's see what Froggy does. He carved crazy pumpkins, thumbs up if you do that too. He hung sticky spider webs, some decorations. Do you hang sticky spider webs? Or what are some decorations you use, my friends, to decorate for Halloween? Ooh, he hung sticky spider webs all over the front of the house. He hung his mother's sheet like a ghost in the wind. And he practiced. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Say it along with me if you know, my friends. Give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. But at last, it was the night before Halloween. And does Froggy have a costume yet? I don't think so. And all through the house, there were creaking sounds Ooh. and scratching sounds. Oh, that's very scary. Froggy was scared. He shivered in his bed. Ooh. And imagined ghosts and goblins and witches and werewolves. Oh, those are all very scary creatures, my friends. Which one do you think is the scariest? Ghost, goblin, witch, or werewolf? Oh, they're all kind of spooky, right? Witches! Zap! Mm. I know, cried Froggy. I'll be the frog prince for Halloween. Oh, he is going to be a frog prince? What a great idea. Oh, and here he is getting ready. It almost looks like his vampire costume, right? Except what does he got on top of his head? A crown, right, for a prince. Let's see. And in the morning, he put on his cape. Help me put on my cape, my friends. Pretend to put on your cape with a zoosh. Ready? Three, two, one. Zoosh. He pulled up his mom's black tights with a zoop. Oh, pull him up. Put on his slick black wig with a zap. Put on your wig. Zap. And plucked on a gold crown. Zump. Try it, my friends. Zump. So many sound effects. It's very fun to read this book. And then he flashed his mighty sword. So my friends, pretend to flash your mighty sword in three, two, one. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Wow. Ta-da! Froggy cried. I am Frog Prince. So maybe if you don't have a costume yet, you could be a Frog Prince or just a prince or princess. At the Halloween parade at school, all the girls thought he looked cute. Oh, especially Frogalina. Wait, what is Frogalina dressed up as? She looks like a princess. And what are some other costumes you see in their school parade? Clown, the devil pig again. Ooh, a skeleton, my friends. Do you have a parade of costumes at your school? If you wear a costume, do you do a little parade? They're, they're fun, huh? So Frogalina especially thought he looked cute. And that night when the dark crept in and all the ghosts and goblins crept out to trick or treat, boom, who jumped out and scared them? Frogalina. Princess Frogalina leapt out and chased after the frog prince to give him a kiss. Oh, and how does Froggy feel about that? <gasps> Doesn't look like he wants that kiss. Eek! Cried Froggy. He was never more scared in his life. <laughs> so getting kissed by Frogalina is pretty scary to Froggy. Uh-oh. But then the door flew open and, oh, there stood the wickedest witch in the world. Trick or treat? Squeak Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Why is he red in the face, my friends? Either he's super scared to see a wicked witch, or maybe he's a little embarrassed because he just got kissed by Frogalina. Right when you're embarrassed, sometimes you blush, your cheeks turn red, my friends. Have your cheeks ever turned red and you blushed because you're a little embarrassed? Yeah, what happened to make you feel a little embarrassed? Yeah. Well, luckily, Frogalina ran away. She must have been scared. And the witch turned out to be Max's granny. Oh, so it's just someone's grandmother dressed up as a witch. Not a real witch. And that Halloween, Froggy got tons of candy. <gasps> but if I look at this picture, uh-oh, my friends. What happened to his candy? Oh, no. It looks like there was a hole in his bag and all his candy's falling out. <gasps> Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever lost some of your candy because it fell out? Well, if not, then that's good, right? Because that'd be pretty sad. 
Froggy got tons of candy, but his sword had torn a hole in his candy bag. And by the time he got home, what do you think happened by the time he got home? Probably didn't have any candy left. And by the time he got home, dot, 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 that tells me it's going to continue on the next page. By the time he got home, all his candy was gone. Oh, no, cried Froggy. What's the matter? asked his mother. He showed her his empty bag, so he did all that trick-or-treating, and there's nothing left. What is he going to do, my friends? I don't know. I think trick-or-treating is over. Well, said his mother, you're in luck. Huh, why is she in luck? What do you see? What does mom have here? Looks like mom has a special bowl filled with something yummy. What do you think it is? Looks brown, right? Maybe something chocolate. I remember she was holding a bowl earlier. Do you remember that? And what was in that bowl? Flies. What do you think it is? Let's see. Well, you're in luck, said his mother, holding up a full bowl. I guess nobody liked my treats. And what do you think she gave him? Chocolate covered flies. You think there's a dot, dot, dot? We're going to find out on the next page. Chocolate covered flies. Oh, we were right, my friends. Nice predicting, foreshadowing, thinking ahead. Chocolate covered flies. Yum, cried Froggy. My favorite. Munch, crunch, munch. My friends, can you pretend you're eating chocolate flies? <laughs> so... Even though Froggy lost all his candy, how does he feel at the end? He still had a pretty good Halloween, right? What were some good parts about Froggy's Halloween? He found a costume. He got to go trick-or-treating with his friends. He got chocolate-covered flies, his favorite in the end, all to himself, right? A whole full bowl. My friends, what is your favorite candy? Mmm, I like anything with chocolate, especially Snickers and Reese's and Kit Kats. Yum. So, what a fun story about Froggy's Halloween, my friends. Go ahead, before we end, can you share with me one special trick-or-treating adventure? So, something you remember about your trick-or-treating times. Because Froggy had a really exciting night trick-or-treating. What was one time you had an exciting night trick-or-treating? Go ahead and tell me about it. Whoa, that sounds a little spooky and a lot of fun. The end. All right, my friends. Well, that was the story of Froggy's Halloween. Such a fun little story to get us ready for Halloween time. And again, I know for Halloween will probably look a bit different this year, but it's always fun to think about costumes, candy, carving pumpkins, and trick-or-treating and hanging out with friends when we can do it, when it's safe and healthy, right? All right. What was your favorite part of this story? Yeah, there was so many fun parts. I thought it was really funny when Frogalina was the scariest thing Froggy had seen in his life. <laughs> when she tried to kiss him, right? That part was super goofy. And I also liked in the end how even though he lost all his candy, he was still happy because he got his favorite bowl of chocolate flies. All right, my friends, well, this book was all about Froggy's Halloween. So today's craft is going to be about your Halloween. Well, you'll get to share what Halloween means to you, what your favorite costume is, what your favorite candy is, what you like to do when you go trick-or-treating, so that you can have a little Froggy character craft to help you share about your Halloween adventures as well. Are you ready to check it out? Let's take a look. So today's craft is these. So today's craft are these foggy Halloween inspired little buddy characters. And if you see here, it looks just like Froggy. Has his costume on, his prince costume, and on his shirt it says, you can write your name for Maya's Halloween or your name, your Halloween. And here's how you'll get to share all about your Halloween adventures. After you write your name on the title, he actually opens up, so his print shirt opens up. Oh, and on the inside, you can write all about your Halloween. So what does Halloween mean to you? For me, Halloween means, because remember for Froggy, Halloween meant candy, but it also meant dressing up. Then you can share about your costume, my jack-o'-lantern, my favorite candy like Froggy's was chocolate-covered flies, and then my spookiest moment. What was the spookiest thing that has ever happened to you? Remember, Froggy's was getting kissed by Frogalina. 
So this is a fun way to share about your own Halloween experiences and your own Halloween adventures. And as always, there's always a colored version that you can print out or a black and white version for you to color in on your own. And I chose to do the froggy colors, but of course, if you color it, you can color with whatever colors you want. This one on the inside has sentences for you to write out to your Halloween adventures. Same prompts, so favorite candy, Halloween costume, jack-o'-lantern, spookiest moment, but space for you to write instead. So both versions are available in color and black and white. Oh, his little leg was folded down. Well, if you're interested in making these froggy Halloween crafts, my friends, you can check it out on my blog following the link down below. There you'll also find additional reading resources such as main themes and ideas and other reading crafts for other stories. There's a whole bunch of spooky Halloween ones on there, so check it out. And if you do make these crafts, I'd love to see them and hear about your own Halloween adventures, my friends. So please reach out to my storybook by clicking on all the social media links down below. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, on the blog, on TikTok. Go ahead and check them out and reach out. And if you did enjoy this Halloween adventure, my friends, I have plenty of fall read-alouds coming up, holiday read-alouds coming up. So please be sure to subscribe to my storybook YouTube channel to keep up with all of our reading adventures. But until next time, my friends, I hope you have an excellent time preparing your Halloween costume. I hope you have a great Halloween and happy reading. Thank you.